and been better in, in recent years and um, defensively and just, you know, uh, I feel like this is probably the best season I've had. Uh, I go from not making all NBA to being first team. So, you know, there was some growth there. Steve, over here. Uh, Steve Ashburn, NBA.com. Uh, first, are you keeping that ball away from Draymond? Mm. Oh, like the other day? Yeah. Yeah, it's my ball. You brought it, okay. Um, how hard is it to uh, approach a game where you guys want to concentrate on keeping your turnovers down? Don't turn over the ball. Don't turn over the ball. Does that get in the way of just sort of playing free and easy if you're focused on one area like that? Uh, I don't think so because I feel like, you know, from watching film, there are a lot of things. There were some frequency turnovers, right? Some situations where we kept getting in the same spot um, that were causing turnovers. So maybe we can stay away from, you know, jumping in the air and passing it or, you know, jumping off one leg um, and being more under control, you know, while still playing free, you know, we can do both. On your right, Tim. You, you joked the other night that you guys don't put yourselves in these positions on purpose throughout the playoffs, and Emei's kind of in a similar vein, jokingly said a few times, you guys kind of have to make it hard on yourselves, it seems like, to get where you want to go the way things have gone. What do you think has kind of led you guys repeatedly being in the situations of what have you learned about yourselves as a group and the way you've been able to persevere through them so far? Uh, I think just how we respond. Uh, you know, it, it hasn't been easy. It, it's been extremely tough. Uh, you know, we've had some tough losses, you know, losing game five against Milwaukee, you know, was, was extremely tough, you know, just knowing that we had to win two, um, going on the road and, you know, losing game six against the Heat was extremely tough. Uh, but, you know, in those moments we just responded. Um, I don't know exactly, you know, what it is, but, you know, I think just our will to want to win, uh, you know, just trying to figure it out team and obviously a different location, but do you do you draw anything from that game six against Milwaukee going into tomorrow, given the situation and the opponent and everything then? You know, obviously defending champions, these guys have been in there before. Um, does any, is any of that part of your thought process over the next 24 hours? Uh, the, I think the, my thought process is, and as it was in that game and game seven and game seven against the Heat, it was just do whatever it takes to win. Um, and that can look different from game to game. Um, but we won all those games, and, you know, I felt like, you know, myself and everybody else did whatever it took, and, you know, that's the mindset you got to have going into tomorrow, um, and then, you know, hopefully a game seven. Adam? Jason, kind of, uh, kind of along those lines, what's your source of optimism entering this game and kind of for the rest of this series, knowing you've been in tough spots before, whether it be earlier in these playoffs or, you know, way back in January? How do you guys kind of step back and look at the bigger picture and say that what you want is still in front of you? Uh, just be, because it is. Right? It's the first to four. So it's like it's not over with. Uh, so as long as it's not over with, you got a chance. And I think having done it before, you know, should give you even more confidence that you can. Not that it's going to be easy or it's going to be given to us. Uh, you know, but, you know, you should be extremely confident as long as you got a chance. And, you know, we got a chance tomorrow. On your right, Gary. Uh, Gary Watson, from Boston Globe. Jason, obviously you don't – the NBA championship uh, trophy is going to be there. Uh, you don't want them celebrating on your floor. You don't want them partying later on that night in Boston and all that. Is it up to you, Marcus, Jalen, Ime, to get everybody on collective, like of how important this game is? I mean, do you need to be more vocal, or is it is it just kind of collectively assumed? Or I mean, how does how does do do the emotions before a game like this differ from a, a, a normal game? Uh, you know, we are professionals and adults. We know it's at stake, and you know, everybody in that locker room, you know, should and you know is going to understand, you know, what we got to do and. and uh, you know, like, you know, what's on the line. So it, it shouldn't take, you know, a hero speech or anything like that. You know, everybody should be juiced up and ready to play. Uh, you know, yeah. and I'm not even going to say if they not, it's a problem. Like, everybody's going to be ready to play. I'm not worried about that at all. 
David Aldridge in the Georgia Center. Hey, Jason. <clears throat> I know you guys had very difficult series with Milwaukee, very difficult series with Miami. Does this feel different from the mental aspect of having to guard a team as experienced as Golden State and conversely having to score against a team that defends as well as Golden State? It's kind of like a mirror image of yourself in some ways. Uh, yeah. I mean, they're, they're a great team. Um, and they present different challenges than Milwaukee and Miami, you know. Um, I think that's just part of the playoffs adjusting to different teams and the different challenges that they, you know, give you. Um, and you got to adjust pretty quickly, you know, moving from series to series. And this is no different. Uh, so, you know, it's a challenge nonetheless. It's just a different one compared to playing Milwaukee and Miami. Front right. Hey, Jason. Um, from a I minute mean, standpoint, you may mentioned that at the end of game five, you thought, you know, fatigue might have been a little bit of a factor for you guys um, in the fourth quarter there. From your standpoint, you've obviously played, you're playing leading the league minutes. I've carried a huge minutes load all year. What's the, you know, going into a win or go home game, what's your, the balance for you and what are the conversations you'll have with you during a game in terms of, you know, obviously playing as much as you can, but, you know, balancing out the need for a little bit of rest to maximize what you can do? Um, you know, is is game six, you know, it's um, elimination game. It's not really time to be, you know, finding time to rest, you know. Obviously, throughout the course of the game, you know, me and him would talk if there are spots to find time to rest. But, you know, that's what timeouts are for. Um, and at this point in the season, at most, we've got two games left. So it's, it's, it's just mental. Um, you got to fight through that. You know, I'm not the only person that's tired or dealing with injuries or whatever. You know, it's the last two teams standing. We've been playing six, seven months. Um, so everybody dealing with something. Uh, so I'm not really focused on, on that at all. It's, you know, we got after we got a, at most a week left and then, you know, I could rest all summer. Hey, back Jason, right? back here. Uh, just wanted to ask you about, Ime was just talking about building his coaching staff this year, and he said that when he was building it, the players stepped up and said, we need to keep Joe Mazzula on this staff. Why did you feel that he was such an important member of the coaching staff, and how have you seen him grown as a coach? I didn't say that. No, I'm fucking with you. Uh, <laughs> no, I, uh, I love Joe, and uh, I think you, you know, just being around him, for the last, I think this is his third year, maybe second or third year. Um, you could tell how passionate he is about, you know, the guys and um, his craft. And he's gotten so much more knowledgeable and, and um, more detailed um, and just more vocal and, and, you know, more comfortable in his role as a coach. You, you've seen the growth from his first year. And he's helped me out tremendously, you know, as a player and as a person. Um, you know, so I can't say enough good things about Joe. And, you know, everybody appreciates, you know, what he brings to this team. Um, and, you know, I'm glad that we, you know, have him. Back row towards the left here. By Manning Steel and Media, Jason, Jalen was just talking about the pace you guys need to play at and some of the possessions where you guys let the shot clock run down a little bit. Just I'm curious, what, what is going on in certain possessions when you guys do get stagnant or that shot clock's at 14 when you get into it? Just like what slows you guys down at times, you think? I think being in, in our spots, you know, um, we just got to be conscious of, you know, not walking in spots, you know, getting there with some so a sense of urgency. Um, you know, you, you play in the half court and let them set their defense, they're really, really good. So I think um, obviously it starts with getting stops. And then kicking the ball ahead, you know, when you do get a stop um, and playing in transition. Um, even if you don't score, you know, just putting pressure on the defense um, and then bring it back out and, and set some up. But, you know, walking the ball up and things like that against them is, you know, it's tough to score. Davide towards the middle with the last one. Hi, Jason. Davide Kinelato with the uh, Gazzetta from Italy. Uh, walking around the city, you can tell the Celtics pride how much the city is behind you guys. How much do you think is important and gives you extra motivation to play this game at TD Garden and how much it, they can, the fan can help you, you know, win this one? Yeah, uh, it's great being back home. You know, it's the last home season. 
home game of the season. So, you know, looking forward to being in front of the crowd, you know, knowing that they're going to be behind us um, and giving us that extra boost of energy um, as they have my whole career. Um, so I'm extremely excited, excited to see them tomorrow. Um, you know, it's going to be extremely loud in here. Um, and it's going to be fun. It's going to be a great atmosphere. So, you know, looking forward to that.